One of the most challenging and controversial issues regarding mediumistic experiences is to know if the medium can actually have access to some source, some anomalous source of information. If the medium can actually get information that would not be available through their regular five senses. And, but we know that most mediumistic experiences do not provide challenging evidence that would require a non-orthodox explanation. But in the, rest, in, the, in the last decade, several studies were published using strictly controlled methods. Basically, these studies tried to avoid that mediums would have access to information about a deceased personality through regular means. Basically, they have several types of control. For example, they use proxy sitters. The person who comes to talk to the medium does not have information about the deceased personality they would like to have information about. The other point, the medium do not receive any extra information for about the deceased personality. And the last point, the relative that would like to have the contact, the information from the deceased personality that we call sitter, the sitter actually is not sitting with the medium, but only a proxy sitter. But the sitter, the relative, receives several mediumistic readings. One of the mediumistic readings contains all the information that the mediums produced intended to his or her deceased personality. But also, um, the, the sitter would receive other control readings, readings with information, information that the mediums produced intended to other deceased personalities, relatives of other sitters. And then the sitter needs to evaluate blindly all these readings. They need to, for example, to choose to pick one in five readings which of these was intended to him or her. Or the sitter needs to score the readings. So if the mediums are not able to provide uh, veridical or precise information, just generic, just generic information, it's, it would be expected that the, that the sitter would not be able to select more likely the intended reading, or they would not be able to score higher the intended reading comparing, comparing to control readings. And two recent studies actually did not find that the mediums were able to get the right reading above chance. But two other studies found that even under these strictly controlled situations, the sitters were able to score much higher above chance or to pick much higher above chance the exact intended reading. This is, of course, a very controversial issue. And there is also a lot of discussion about uh, how to produce the higher levels of control, but at the same time, not making the environment too artificial to avoid the natural occurrence, the natural happening of the phenomenon. Since the studies of mediumistic experience have provided many useful information for understanding of mind, of unconscious mind, subliminal mind, dissociation, for example, the continuous investigation for these kinds of experiences can also help us to advance further the understanding of mind and of human nature. <music>